Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Oh god, this cup tree's running at me. Um, we're at this uh, end game stretch. Let's go ahead and get into it. Waha, Pokemon Trainer. What should I do? I don't really want to battle. Well, you could just not battle. I mean, that's a thing. Hiker Donald. Got a Gigalith. Alright, Carbonite. Boop, worm. Uh, stealing should work. Got pressure. It's got Sandstream. I'd almost prefer that over uh, Hail, like, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't, but they're more or less the same. But either way, Steelwing. Bam. Super effective. Rock Slide. That's gonna hurt. Yeah. And Steelwing. Okay, avoided the attack. Rock slide. Okay, avoided. Steel wing again. Knocked him out. That's it, I knew you could do it. Gigalith fainted. Hey, Dreckluck is 58. I think that said Rhyhorn, right on? Rhyhorn? I'm not sure which. I can't hit A too fast. We'll send out the Rilla, though. The Rilla Thrilla. Bam. Right on. Waiting directions. We're gonna go ahead and give it the drum beating. Should take it out. It's only level 46. It's quite a bit levels above it. Bap, bap, bap. Down he goes. Bye, Horn Fainted. Inteleon grew to 65. Defeated Hiker Donald. I think I got mixed up somewhere around my first Pokemon. No, I mean, your team's pretty good. You just need more stuff. The way you carry yourself, you are something. Gentleman Glenn. Got a Darmanitan. Ice Manitan. Darmana Ice. Either way, it's going to get steel-winged. Carbonite's pressure. It's on you with intense and determined eyes. Steel wing. Bam. There we go. Super effective. That's it. I know you can do it. Darmanitan fainted. Carbonite grew to 60. Buffeted by hail. I'm gonna send Phalanx. Um, I think it's. Uh, I don't remember what type it is. Uh, wait, isn't it like just fighting? I was thinking it was Steel for some reason. But I think I remember it's weird. It's like just fighting or something like that. Oh well. Either way, we're gonna Pyro Ball. Yeah, Bounce was super effective. It, it is just fighting. And down it goes. Cinderace could have fit 65. Buffeted by hail. Uh, about to send a grapple locked. And the guy is also just fighting. So this time we're gonna use bounce for the first time in the whole game. Good move, actually. Might make it so Bounce doesn't one shot him. Buffeted by Hail. And there we go, Bounce. Nope, that's a one shot. Critical hit, too. Defeated Gentleman Glenn. Oh, your Pokemon is simply marvelous. 18,400 for winning. Camera crew! It's been a while. I'm glad we could meet up again. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Great train great Pokemon and trainers really shine with something special when they're on camera. Challenged by interviewers Gillian and Cam. Or Gillian. Gillian and Clean Clang. 
that. Corviknight and Cinderace. So this is actually going to work well. I'm going to do the cross-up again. I've noticed a lot of these double battles, I have, like, my Pokemon do diagonal attacks. And just how it ends up ending working. Uh, so Corviknight is going to use Drill Pack on Helio. Actually, no, Heliolisk is, uh, I don't know why I was thinking he was fighting. He's just, uh, electric. But either way, we'll use uh, that anyways. Fireball will kill Kling, Kling Clang, most likely. Or he can avoid the attack, that's fine too, I guess. Not very effective on Drill Pack. Thunder's gonna hurt! Oof. Luckily it was on Cinderace and- oh my god, Thunder looked really cool in this game. Shift gear is kind of intense. Speed rose sharply, attack rose. Everyone's hurt by hail. Alright, Corviknight's gonna use Drill Pick on Heliolisk. Cinderace is gonna use Pyro Ball on Kling Clang. Down he goes. Kling Clang fainted. And Corviknight used Drill Pack, which should knock out that guy. Down he goes. Landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. Didn't need the critical hit, though. I always get critical hits when I don't need them. Buffeted by Hail. Buffeted by Hail. Got a Noivern. That is the evolution of Noibat. And Togedamaru. Or Togedamaru. Let's see, uh, Flying Dragon, uh, Drill Pack's not going to be super helpful, and Pyro Ball will work on him. we to have two things weak to Pyro Ball, my friend. Alright, Drill Pack. Won't kill it, but it'll do good damage. Tailwind. Not gonna be overly helpful. But that's okay. The hail damage really adds up. Uh, we'll just use Retaliate and Cinderace. We'll just use Headbutt. It'll die from the Headbutt. Oh, never mind. Hurricane's going first because that Tailwind. Oof. Down he goes. Get some experience. Knocked out Jillian and Cam. What strength? I'm gonna lost for words. Nice work, everyone. I lost, but it's alright. I was able to assess your strength. 18 8 for winning. Let's continue on going. I could eat more curry to heal, but I think we're almost there. Yeah. Down the mountain we go. I do think they could have done a more gradual snow loss, like as you go down the mountain it slowly disappears, but that's yeah, alright. We are officially in Winden. And for some reason Hop's here. Okay, this place is huge. Though I guess it makes sense, this is where the Champion Cup is held. I imagine it would be like a huge city. With an appropriately filled out stadium, of course. So that's where the Champion Cup's gonna be held. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of interesting shops here, and if there's anything like Battle Tower or Battle Subway or Battle whatever, I'm sure it's gonna be in this town too. Alright, Winden City. This is the place where I become a legend at last. You get it, don't you, mate? After all, I'm about to become the new Champion of the Gala region. That's it. I'm headed straight for Winden Stadium. Don't waste too much time. You should head your there yourself. Nah, I'm gonna explore first. I'm sure there's a lot of interesting things in the city. Glad we live in a world where I can coexist with a giant Pokemon like this. Good day. I like how they have phone booths. Hello, yeah? I got tickets for front row stadiums. Come on over. Can't go in any of these buildings. I'm pretending to be Phalanx. 
I can't even keep my siblings under control. I don't think I can handle raising six Pokemon. I trained myself with my Pokemon. There's a Pokemon Center. Let's see, I never went to the center after uh, Hammerlock Stadium. After we got the eighth badge. Um, just basically offers max potions and full restores. I'm um, going by about 15 full restores. Sounds appropriate. Um, probably about 20 or so full heals. And uh, that should be fine. Give some max potions too. And 20 of those. Yeah, that's good enough. And what do you have? Goodbye. Uh, okay, luxury balls. Awesome. Let's go ahead and buy 10 of those. Quick balls, which I can finally buy. Definitely want, but let's buy uh, 20 of those. And these are very helpful for EV training, which I'm not gonna buy any of those now, but I am gonna get into, I mean, I always do like competitive breeding, not like competitive, real, real competitive, but just, I like breeding up teams and me and my friends play together. Oh, there's a Rotom in that machine. I came all the way from Runeva, so I might as well gain, give everything a try, including Poke Jobs. I do like how they mention like other regions are a real thing. I'm a, if I'm a trainer, I'm cheering for losses. It really brings me down, as if I was the one who lost. Even if the match itself has nothing to do with me, that's what it means to be a supporter. Yeah, that's fair. If you're sitting, you have to stand up eventually, right? It's the same way even if you're defeated. Sooner or later, you get back on your feet. I feel like my Pokémon always smiles when we take photos together. Pokémon trainers are really something. I mean, they can complete on the world stage. I'm taking as many pictures as I can. They're like little slices of time. This is Mr. Mime's name. His name's Marcel. It's really amazing. I got my Charizard pose down pat. Oh man, all- oh, no, no. I was gonna say, can you go in all those houses, but I'm sure that's gonna be a, like, a scene skip, maybe. We'll head this way first. What is this big building? Is this the, uh, yeah, this is the train station. A Ferris wheel, but I'm afraid of heights. I want to do an entire loop with the Gala region. What better way to start than a Ferris wheel? Winning is quite massive, so it can be frightening and headache for you to navigate around. Best to use the monorail or ring up a flying taxi. How come this guy's got a Pokemon right? Uh, oh, okay, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, this guy's just got the normal stuff. And does this guy have the uh, the balls and stuff? Oh, never mind, that's just a Rookity. Let's check out what's up here. You can see one of Wyndham's famous monorail platforms this way. The monorail goes around and around the city. It's a dizzying delight. So according to this, you can't reach Rose Tower unless you take the monorail. My Pokemon love music more than just about anything. When they hear anything with a sick beat, they can't stand still, they're off like a shot. You get so caught up in the action of the matches when you're in the stadium that you forget to eat. We get heaps of tourists here in Wyndon, so I have to change the menu to cater their taste. Um, let's not go to anything in the monorail quite yet. Although I'm sure there's in interesting stuff at the, uh, Rose's Hotel. But I want to explore the city before we go, uh, go there or go to the stadium. I got stuck on that dude. Uh, can we go in here? Or is this a, uh, okay, it's a cafe. Well, you see, we depend entirely on Pokemon that come for us poker jobs at the hotel. I can do jobs that Pokemon can do. Uh, for example, uh, I don't know, but I'm sure there's something. I'm training so I can become huge too, and help defeat Dynamax Pokemon. Maybe I should go and have some max raid battles in the wild area before the match starts. So many people in the city got lost, but thank goodness for the flying taxi. Pelpatoid, you've had too much to eat, are you okay? Welcome to Battle Cafe. You can battle here once a day. Sure. It's Cafe Master Richard! He's got a Slurp Off Knock Army. Yeah, it like that's the exact same thing the last guy had. Also, I feel like his name was also Richard, but I'm probably wrong. Carbonite's Pressure. So, Steel Wing is super effective, because they're fairies. And Pyroball is just normal effective, because, well, 
because it's strong. Or a slurp of a wooded attack, that's fine too, I guess. Oh man, look at the health. It's so tiny. Thunderbolt will probably hurt a bit. Yeah. Always paralyzed. That one's gonna use Psychic. That hurts. I'm um, just gonna use Retaliate because it's 100% accuracy. Pyroball. Okay, or it avoided the attack again. God, I hate misses. I mean, knowing the thing is, Retaliate's not gonna kill it, probably. It's my fault for not using Steel Wing. <sighs> I just don't like that Steel Wing doesn't have 100% accuracy. Fireball. There we go. Bam. Down for the count. And of course, use recover. And watch me be paralyzed right now. Yep. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Oh, Pyroball will take it out, probably. There we go. Cinderace and Corbinite leveled up. 61 and 66. Knocked out Cafe Master Richard. Suppose the... Hope that battle was a complex, bitter experience for you. 15040 for winning. That was a battle as refreshing as a glass of Moomoo Milk. Here's the treat I promised. Yeah, Clover Sweet. Okay. Uh, when a Mills Curry holds this, it spins around happily. We look forward to your next visit. So basically, those different sweets evolve Mills Curries in different ways. Uh, I've seen a few different colors and options. I've been a fan of Land since he first participated in the gym challenge. Here's a clothing store. Let's see. Maybe we'll want to change our outfit. All right. I decided to just keep the outfit I've on. I've been had. I've had the whole game. No reason to change now. Oh, there's a hair salon. Don't want to change that. Morty gave me your autograph just now. It's my treasure. The champion match. Okay, so this probably goes down and loops to the other side of the city. Uh, so instead of what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out what's down this way. I can't really read that sign because it's in the weird language of this game. There it is. Whatever this is. Where would you like to go? Wind Stadium, Monorail Station. Neither of those. I can change my, uh, my job or even my home, but I can't change my favorite challenger and my favorite Pokemon. I, I feel like that's the opposite, but okay. You've got to give it to Mudsdale. I've never seen it overloaded, no matter how many people are riding it. Whoa. Oh, so that's what the taxis look like. From the right flying taxi, Governor. Where do you like to go? Uh, no, I'm fine. There's a lot of different ways to quick travel through the town. I've never actually noticed the taxi before. That's crazy looking. Oh, hey, is that a shiny? Big nugget. Nice, that sells for a lot of money. Pokemon that work in the hotels and Pokemon that participate in battles, they all have a sharp look to them. When I see truly amazing battle, it fills my whole body with energy. I've got to respect all the world. It. I've got all the respect in the world for trainers who can put on matches like that. I was invited by Marco Cosmos to come watch the matches. Who's Marco Cosmos? A celebrity winning any match is sure to get everyone interested. You know, it'd be, it'd be really funny if we get to the end of the... If we become the champion and then we get sponsored. Uh, I came to gather on my Braviary instead of my private jet, but I must admit it is a little tiring. I know my wife is complaining, but she actually loves traveling with her Pokemon. Being a doorman is a lot of work. It doesn't matter how many people come and go. Mistakes are unacceptable. That's why we have Pokemon helping us out, too. I like how there's a talking sword for a greeter. It's important to always be smiling. My legs are a bit swollen, though. Welcome to the Rose of the Ro Roadlands. Rundlands. We pride ourselves in offering five-star service that is beloved throughout the world. I'm a professional concierge. I'm more than happy to assist Pokemon, even if we don't speak the same language. 
Okay. So that's roped off. And is this way roped off too? Are the elevators? Or can we just not use the elevators? Looks like we just can't use those. Can't go back there either. <laughs> okay, not much going on here. Let's check this side path now. There wasn't a whole, lo whole lot to do at the, uh, oh hey, there's an item. Air balloon. The holder floats in the air until hit. Once the hair holder is hit, this item will burst. So that's basically a competitive item to give, uh, flying to something that's not flying. Uh, it's great to use on things that are weak to the ground. We'll check this side path now. Shiny. Blob of black sludge. Gradually restores HP to poison type Pokemon and damages any other type. It's basically leftovers, but just for, um, poison Pokemon. Found a nugget! Alright, and this goes to the other side here, and here's all- Oh my god, we can we go in all those houses? Because that's a lot of exploring. If we can go in every one of those houses, we'll check that in a minute. Uh, when flying lost in Winden's widening streets, use the city's dedicated flying taxis or the monorail. I do see a shiny over there and an item. So we'll check out this little park area. There's also a little battle square. That's cute. I'll use my speedy Pokemon to defeat any Pokemon that try to change the weather. Raihan likes to use Sandstorm first. Moves that only a select Pokemon can learn. They're called Ultra Moves. Do you want your Pokemon to learn one of them? Uh, I... Is it the pledges? Uh, okay, bla okay, it's Blast Burn. Uh, not Blast Burn. However, um, I might want to learn one on uh, Rillaboom or Inteleon. I can't remember what they are, though. Hydro Cannon. Got a Shiny. It's a Balm Mushroom. Exit our bikes, we can actually walk around in this area. I thought I saw a shiny over here. Also, hmm, can't get to that item quite through there. It's probably this way. Yeah. There's a rare candy. Cool. And this item is... A grassy seed. It boosts defense on grassy terrain. Can only use ones. Okay. Oh, I can't fit through there. That's funny. I like the music here. It's really like end of the game city sounding. But let's go in every let's go in every one of these houses. See if any of them have anything interesting to say. My mom and dad both work for the league. They're always away for the champion matches. And well, it's boring here on my own. Champion's been a great boon to trainers. The sport has really taken off thanks to him. Plenty of trainers see his match and get fired up thinking, I want to be like him. It's good. It's like a global festival whenever, we, whenever the tournament or the Champion Cup are on. People in Pokemon come from all over. The truest evolution for a Pokemon is, I believe, becoming a part of a team or true friends as they live together and grow close to humans. I like how that, that thing was eating a Applin. If I make uh, if I make it up to the stadium's big screens during the finals, then the whole world will know my face. Hmm, it seems we're time to reread all the books that I've got on my shelf. But looking over their spines and reading the titles bring back lovely memories. I'm searching for Frostmoth. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Uh, trade for a Derulodon. Mm. No, but I will get you another Frostmoth. I don't know what a Derulodon is, but I don't want to trade my Frostmoth for it. I can s I, it can seem a wee bit harsh having it broadcast for all to see whether you've won or lost, but it's also a fine chance to understand exactly how strong you are if you care to.
Well now, what's this? A C for Rotom phone and a bike. That means you must already know that the Pokemon Rotom absolutely loves to jump into all sorts of different motors. If you want to find out how a Rotom enters motors, then try to beat my very own Rotom. Okay, sure. Prepare to be confounded by all the various forms of my dear Rotom. I'm gonna guess you're gonna have all three. League Staff Isaac. He's got a Rotom. It's grass. It's the lawnmower version. He's probably gonna have each form, and then maybe he'll give us the ability to change forms? That'd be really cool. Uh, I know there's... Oh, uh, whoops, I forgot to heal Corbin Knight. That's on my bad. Uh, late screen. Drop back. And we'll just drop back again. Full switch. I'm gonna switch to another one. Corbin Knight's in a bit of a pinch. He went back. So there's the lawnmower form, the wash form, and I don't remember what the other one is. Uh, not very effective. Okay, um, this is a tough call, because he's going to keep switching them. So just not, something that's not weak to electricity, mostly. Let's go Rilla. The Rilla Thrilla. Used Hex. Alright, so this one, uh, grass is not very effective, so we'll just double hit. There we go. Hit two times. I was gonna send up the third form, or I'll go back to the one that's already low. Yeah, there's the washing. So it's like a, I'm trying to remember what type the other one is. I think the wash is ice, or water? Water uh, lightning? I can't remember. Yeah, the wash is water. I don't know why I did double hit when I could've just done drum beating. I believe the lawnmower is grass, electric, that one's water electric, and the other one's uh, maybe fire electric? Rillaboom 61. Back to the other one. Oops, I did drum beating again. That's fine. Alright. Defeated Isaac. Burrotum changes its type of moves when it changes form. Like how he poses when he loses. You defeated every one of my Rotom. You should be able to put this catalog to good use. Uh, obtain the Rotom catalog. Okay. Uh, use the catalog to have Rotom hop in and out of the various devices listed within. Cool. Oh, and of course, Rotom can get out again. That's neat. So it's a key item that lets it change forms. Last house. Uh, a lucha. That's it. That's the ticket. Maybe we can do a bit sharper the next time. That's funny. Okay, let's go heal our guys and we'll be right back. Actually, there's probably a Poké Center at the stadium. It look is that what it looks like up there? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's see what all these stalls are about. Get your official merchandise, we also have league cards. Uh, is there a weather? How about you? Challenger is just too amazing. Any mistake they make is seen by tens of thousands of fans, but the challengers just keep on battling as if it were nothing. They must have the nerves of steel. Uh, or you care for some Pokemon snacks or drinks? Yeah, Team Yell. We'll show the full power of Team Yell. We're gonna stay out of trouble this time. I mean, we wanna watch the matches too. All right, let's head in to the giant stadium. It's Ball Guy! Thanks for having a chat with your mate, Ball Guy. I can tell you're following your dreams, and that means you guessed it. I've got a Pokeball for you. Dream Ball. Okay. 
A somewhat different Pokemon that makes it easier to catch wild Pokemon while they're asleep. Uh, Pokemon that are asleep are easy to catch, but did you ever want it to be even easier? Well, the Dream Ball will make your dreams come true. Have a Pokemon use Hypnosis or Eon to put the opponent to sleep and then give it a try. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? I like how this place has, like, kind of the Gym Leader theme, but a little bit remixed. Uh, Challenger, remember, the semifinals are just uh, speed bumps in your way to facing Leon. You have to win. It's the ball guy! What are you on the inside? That's cool, I like how it has like, a little thing of each starter. Uh, it's got Yamper, it's got uh, Perserker. This is it, I really made it. I made it through the gym challenge. There must be four remaining in the semifinals. But I'm the one who's gonna win through that battle in the champion. I feel like Derek has a balanced team, but she doesn't have any way to decisively win, you know? I guess the champion's gonna extend his winning streak again. Rude. This is the reception desk. Turns out I was the first to register for the champion cup. In other words, I'm already number one. It's pretty much in the bag. That'll win this thing. Derek, correct? We've been watching over your performance in the gym challenge. This is just a formality, of course, but I'll need to check your gym badges if you don't mind. I'm all sorted and ready to battle you on the biggest stage of them all. But it looks like Bede, uh, Bidet, Betty, Betty, couldn't make it. Hard luck. Somehow, I didn't think he'd just be, uh, just take being qualified lying down, you know what I mean? I guess it is what it is. Come on, we should head to the locker room. Attention gym challengers, we've made it through the gym challenge. The semifinals will be starting soon. Please head to the stadium pitch when you're ready. Okay. Only authorized people allowed to enter. It's time for the semifinals. I'm very curious about who will win among the four who've completed the gym challenge. Oh, when you're ready, please head for the pitch. So the four are Hop, uh, Marnie, and someone else who I can't think of right now? Or is it just a rando to make it like Hop's gonna beat him? I'm guessing I'm gonna face Marnie now, yeah, and then Hop's gonna beat some rando and we're gonna fight Hop in the finals. Heh, I know you'd get all the badges and meet me here. I know that's uh, there's been a lot between us, what with my brother being Team Yell, uh, my big brother Team Yell helping, Spike with all that. The truth is, when all's said and done, I really just want to be champion for myself. So don't take it personal when I kick your butt. I wonder if she's going to have a Dynamax Pokemon. Pokemon Trainer Marnie. She's got a Lipard. Okay. Uh, yep. Dynamax activated. I've got to win this if I'm going to become a champion. I'm coming at you with everything I've got. Coronet's waiting your directions. Alright. We're going to go ahead and... Uh... Now we could start with Hon Claws, see what happens. It's going with Nasty Plot. That's fine. As long as it doesn't have a Thunder or a Flame move, we'll be fine. Bone Claws will give me a little bit of attack and accuracy. Now I don't need to worry about Steel Wing missing if I need to use it. But we'll go ahead and jump out with Drill Pack. Torment. That makes it so you can't use the same move twice, which can be annoying, but it should be fine. I've got Drill Pack and Steel Wing and I can easily switch between. I really should go through my TMs and see if I have any uh, moves to change around. I'm gonna do that after this fight, actually. I'm going to send out more Pico. Alright, so I can't use Drill Pack, which is fine. I guess I'll just use Retaliate. Thanks to that little, uh, that little Hone Claws, that did a good job. Spark's gonna hurt, don't paralyze me please. Now he switches forms to the Angry Mode. And I'll use Steel Wing. Down goes Morpico. Frostmoth is 60. That's a good level up. About to send out Scrafty. Um, Scrafty's what, Fighting Dark? I think? Or is it just Dark? I don't remember. Either way, um, Drill Pack should... Yeah, Drill Pack will be super effective. And then I'll one-shot it because of Hone Claws. 
Yep, down it goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep uh, Marnie with this Corviknight. This, uh, the Rookity was one of the very first things I caught. Oh, Toxicroak. Um... Uh, I don't really have anything for Toxicroak, other than Carbonite, because it's flying, but... If I'm still being tormented, then I can't use, uh, that again. But I wonder... If I Dynamax... Uh... Can I use Max Airstream, because it's a different move? Or did Torment wear off while I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention there? There we go. Dynamax. Carbonite. 300 health. And here is Max Airstream. Oh nice, Sucker Punch. Max Airstream will definitely knock it out though. Effective, speed up. And Teleon 66. Uh, Grim Snarl. Uh, okay. I've got everyone's cheers. Everyone's cheers back at me. I'm really, really gonna win this time. Yeah, Grim Snarl's intense. Is it gonna have a Dynamax? Uh, Gigantamax? Because that'd be super cool. Either way, Max Steel Spike. My bro might not use it, but I'll drag in to max my Pokemon if it's a win. Oh, so he does have a Gigantamax form. He looks mostly the same, except instead of being super buff, now he's like super tall. He he's very um attack on Titan reminiscent. But Max Steel Spike will take him out probably in one hit. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks for showing me that at least. <laughs> I mean, all in all, Marnie might be a mono like type trainer, like no, not mono type, but she like all of her Pokemon are dark. I think, just about. Uh, her team's not bad. The fact that I'm, you know, like 15 levels higher than her Pokemon is uh, helpful, but. Okay, so I lost, but I got to see a lot of good points of you and your Pokemon. 15,000 for winning. I mean, yeah, Marnie's team was good. It just, uh, you know, was underleveled. Uh, everyone in the stadium was watching us during all that. I heard them cheering for me and my Pokemon. It was nice. I may have lost, but at least we drove the audience wild. Guess that's not too bad. Think I'll join with my brother in the stands and we'll watch from the sidelines to see who ends up challenging the champion. Just so you know, I still haven't decided if I'm going to cheer for you. See ya. She knows she will. Derek, I'll be waiting for you in the final match. After seeing the way you battled, I can't accept any outcome besides winning this match. My team's on fire. Sure thing, Hop. Pardon me. I know you didn't get a long break, but the match of yours uh, ended more quickly than expected. Challenger Hop won quite handily, so as soon as you're ready, we'd like you back on the pitch. Okay, Corvin, I got full healed. Uh, I think we'll just keep leading with him, but I am going to end the episode here. So we're going to see the Hop final match and what's happening after that next episode. In between episodes, I am going to use uh, some TMs and TRs and change some moves on my team, maybe. Uh, but we'll see in the next one, and that might be the end of the game. We'll see what happens, though. Thanks for watching, everyone.